Hello fellows, in this video I'll try to show you how I'm using this STAR diagnostic kit, which I got from China. This kit consists of laptop, Lenovo laptop, a multiplexer, large cable with 38 pin port on the one end, which is connected to multiplexer, and multiplexer is connected to this laptop via this green network cable. So let me connect everything together and I'll show you how I'm doing some diagnostics on this car. This is my Mercedes W140. So let's turn everything on. So I just connected this multiplexer with my Mercedes. Here, this cable is being connected to the 38 pin port on this Mercedes. And the laptop is turned off. Okay, let's turn it on. ThinkPad. This is Lenovo ThinkPad. By the way, the laptop should be Core i5 and Windows 7. And this is my Mercedes. You see, this is pretty serious, expensive and complicated stuff you can ever buy. Don't do this until you're crazy. Alright, so this is how it looks like. Uh, we got bunch of shortcuts here but i will show you how i'm testing my my mercedes okay uh, i'm clicking on i'm clicking on zentry diagnosis double click first okay let's wait till it it's being fully loaded And this is this happens in real time so please be patient and wait all right something is going on here then i select mercedes click then instead of vin number which which just seems to uh, not be properly working because this system cannot identify my car by VIN number. What I'm doing instead, I'm selecting passenger car tab. I am now finding my car. This is S140. Click. Then I select my car, which is, uh, I think, this, uh, uh, this 1400.057 S600L. And I click on continue. Then I have to select engine and transmission. Okay, I think I'm probably, I'm not sure, but I think it's this. Uh, 722621. Yeah. And I'm clicking continue again. All right. And now I'm clicking on this Zentry diagnosis. Okay, it says something. I'm clicking F2. Date is being determined. Please wait. Okay, something in German. F2. Again. Are you working on another vehicle? If you choose yes, all information will be erased. Okay. Uh, okay, let's choose yes. Now I have to select gasoline or diesel engine. All right, gasoline. And now I'm clicking on F3. Data is being determined. And now it's it loaded HHT win. This is how it looks like. Okay. So let's wait a little bit more. Yeah. So this is the main menu of HHT win. In this menu I only need to click on short test. So everything is controlled with the mouse. Switch ignition on. It says switch ignition on. Okay, let me switch ignition on and I will be back. Okay, so I just turned on the ignition. I didn't turn the engine, just the ignition. Now it says switch on auxiliary heater for short test. Okay, it's switched on. Now all I have to do, just click on this enter sign. All right, let's go. So 
it started test short test you see we have something on multiplexer short test first it tests gas engine then chassis then body then climate and it's switching between different systems now it's hfm me1 re actually I have no idea what does it mean but We'll see in a second. VAS. ADS. I know I have issue with ADS on my car. By the way, it's already second system is being tested. Body. seems that the phone can't f just properly focus on the screen. This test will take probably a couple more minutes to end. But this is it. So, laptop, multiplexer and Mercedes, which needs some attention. So again, if you are crazy, buy V12 Mercedes. If you're not that crazy, buy something else. That's my honest advice to you. Still testing body. K I O K L K I probably. L W R. If I only knew what it means, PTS. And this thing just blinks, so multiplexer just blinks. APS. Still buddy. Tele aid. So this is how it works. Climate. It will engage uh, some fans probably very soon. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't know how many systems are left. Oh, that's it. Okay, short test is now complete. So I can click on 9 short test result. That's what I'm going to do short test result okay and now i have to move my mouse over this icon okay uh erase fault memories of all systems rec recognized in short test no 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 i need to print first so there is a huge icon with a like printer icon i click there then i select uh diagnosis pdf printer which is here Hope you can see it. Then I click OK. Then I click on Browse. And what I do, I'm, I decided to save everything according to dates. So today is December 18th, I guess. Uh, and the test is number one. So you see I did a few tests before. Uh, 18th. I hope it's 18th, maybe 19th already. OK, but whatever. Click on Save. OK, and then we're done. So ah, uh, it opens automatically this uh, PDF file with all errors here. You can see it. I will zoom out a little bit. So there are several pages of some information. I don't know if you can see anything or recognize anything. So. As you can see, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. It says steering angle sensor N49. System switched off. Steering angle sensor not initialized. No steering angle initializing. So I, I now I have to figure out what to do with these things. Because I have 
ADS, ABS, ESP errors in my Mercedes. But just to summarize this, I have a laptop, I have a multiplexer, cables, and this is what I do. I'm just testing my Mercedes. Uh, in this video, I didn't show you how to use different um, modules in this software like EPC and other stuff. I have really no clue how to use them, but just to show you what's going on on desktop. Uh, oops. No. Here. This is what they left me. Uh, there is a like TeamViewer, Starfinder, Zentry Developer, DES, Zentry Diagnosis, SD Media, and other stuff. This is how it looks. If you ever wanted to know what you are getting. And it's not cheap, guys. It's not cheap at all. But I think it's better than uh, an average like AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts like diagnostic tool which may not read all codes. This thing should read everything. Yeah, this Mercedes is pretty old. That's why I'm not using... I, I'm, I'm using this 38-pin port instead of OBD2. Uh, but in the newer cars you will probably get more data and it will be probably more comfortable than working on W140. But again, I'm uh, happy that I got this kit and uh, because before I was using how how it was called uh, I already, already forgot somebody asked me recently if it was like a, like whatever uh, yeah so this star kit did a short test for me another kit that I purchased from Europe did nothing so this kit wins so far so thank you for watching this this video and stay with me if you have any questions just let me know because i can make some testing on demand if you want and uh, because uh, otherwise i won't be doing anything until i just i find time to proceed on proceed working on my car but this is it let me turn everything off and I'm done here. So I hoped you enjoyed this. I hoped you enjoyed this video and uh, please send me all your questions and concerns. Thank you. Thanks for watching.